Hey guys, so this is going to be my first monthly favorites video. I am going to share all the makeup that I loved during January. It was a very, very cold month here and everything I used was super dewy, very, very hydrating because my skin is very dry at the moment. So let's get started. I'm starting with the Clinique Moisture Surge SPF 25 for winters. I feel SPF 25 is enough for my skin. I really love this moisturizer because it's so dewy, very hydrating. It revives my skin. Also a heads up, this has got some fragrance. I don't have any particular problem with the fragrance but can you see how this makes my skin look super glowy this is just the perfect moisturizer for winters if you are you know not out a lot kind of my everyday favorite for winters then i'm going to use the rare beauty always an optimist pore diffusing primer this and smashbox are the only pore diffusing primers i trust during winters i don't like stuff that feels too silicone-y this feels hydrating and also does the job it prevents creasing then I have the Kiro Daily Dewy Serum Foundation. I am in the shade Spiced Beige. This has all the good ingredients I want. Hyaluronic Acid, Niacinamide, Vitamin C. It's going to look like a super sheer layer of product on your skin. I'm going to blend this in with the Pro Foundation Brush from Sephora. This is the best brush you can have for all your serum foundations, tinted moisturizers, BB creams and all of that, you know. Anything that has less coverage is going to blend really well with this brush. I have been using this foundation for a long time. They added new shades to the range, which is amazing. Also, I love skincare infused products like this because it makes my skin and makeup look fresh for a long time. This really makes my routine simple because I don't like a ton of coverage so this is just the perfect product for me. Let me know if you have any questions regarding the foundation. Next I will be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I am in the shade Caramel. This is my actual shade. I use it for concealing imperfections all over my face along with dark circles. For contouring I will be using the shade Baked Brown from the pack Take Cover Concealer. I just love this shade on my skin tone. Gives a very natural contour. I'm placing some on my forehead under my cheekbones. Some on my jawline and then I am going to blend everything in. So the blending is going to take some time. Here I am using the pack 234 brush to blend the contour. This is a really old brush. I don't know if this is still available. But this is the only perfect brush I have for blending cream or liquid contour or bronzer. I also use this to blend cream blush sometimes. This shade of the concealer just disappears into my skin giving me a very natural shadow. After this, I am going to use the Pack 218 brush to blend my concealer. This again is my go-to brush for blending concealers. And again, the blending is going to take some time. This is a concealer or a makeup product that can't be duped. This has such an amazing formula. It just works with all kinds of makeup looks. It's totally worth the money. It will work on all skin types. It blends like butter. It also feels very comfortable on the skin and gives you the coverage. For cream blush, oh my god, I have been loving these. This is the Kiro Wonder Wand Multi Stick. And today I am going to use the shade Pink Chiffon. I have all the three shades. This is such a cute Barbie pink color that looks stunning on my skin. These blush sticks are super blendable, very buildable, easy to use and carry and the shades are also adaptable. Like when I saw the stick, I thought this is not a shade for me. It will wash me out, but it looks so pretty and cute. The blush is not too dewy. It has just the perfect amount of glow. Then I'm going to set the face. I will be using the the Ruby's Organics Compact. This one is in the shade SP3. This is my alternative for the MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation. Both of them work very similarly. It's just that MAC keeps my makeup matte the entire time I'm wearing it, especially during winters and this is not as long lasting. But still a really good alternative, gives some coverage, isn't drying or too matte. Then I will be using the Lacme Absolute Explore Eyeshadow Stick in Hawaiian Pink. They have some amazing shades in this. The color that I have is a cool toned pink, but be careful with the color. Color theory will really come in play here. It can wash you out if you have a deep skin tone with very warm undertone. Lately, I've been feeling that I am more on the neutral side with a hint of olive in my skin tone because all these cool tone shades work for me. I mean warm shades obviously look better on me but these don't look bad either. Next I will be curling my lashes and using mascara. You guys know it has to be the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Month doesn't really matter here. Sky High Mascara will always be my favorite. For my lips, I will be using the Hydra Bomb Plumping Gloss. Why did I try this so late? This is an amazing gloss. It's a bit sheer, gives a light pink tint to my lips. I am using the shade Pink Guava, by the way. My lips look glazed and it's so long lasting, the hydration will last. I did not notice any cooling or tingling sensation, but I do love the colors. Both the colors, that is Peach Crush and Pink Guava, are really good. And that's it, this is the finished look. All the products are linked in description. I'm thinking of doing a video like this every month. So I can, you know, sum up my favorites 
at the end of the month. Let me know what you think. Also, let me know if you have any other video suggestions. Other than that, if you liked the video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.